So you are listening to Dr. Nick Wilson. This is the Ask Dr. Wilson show. Hey, this is also duplicated on a podcast now. So just look for hashtag Ask Dr. Wilson on podcast. And it's it's played on Spotify. It's on iTunes. It's just about everywhere where podcasts exist. So you can get on there or get on Facebook.com slash Ask Dr. Wilson on Instagram as well under the same Ask Dr. Wilson. So here's the current challenge that you and I both have right now navigating our future is the fact that right now we look at the body as weak, broken, and debilitated. We look at the body as something that is flawed right out of the gate, and we look at at it as something that's to be manipulated and something that's to be, unfortunately, drugged. And why do I bring this up? Here's the reason why I bring this up is because your philosophy is really what dictates your health. Why Why does that even matter? Well, when your philosophy is that, hey, my body is weak, broken, defective, and unintelligent, well, then you're going to look for something from the outside in in order to manipulate your physiology in order to maybe produce health. And think about this. We look at the body at birth and we say the baby comes out and we say, wow, the miracle of life. We say the miracle of life and yet what happens is we forget that or we just Start seeing our brothers, our sisters, our neighbors, our people around us who are getting sick over time, and we see the cancer. We see the life-threatening conditions that ends up happening. We know the different specialists that are out there that are very smart when it comes to their individual specialty. The cardiologist, the nephrologist, the endocrinologist, the gastroenterologist, and we look at this and it makes it almost seem like it's health is complicated and disease is scary. We look at this as health is complicated and disease is scary. And so what do we do? When health is complicated and disease is scary, we voluntarily just say, hey, I succumb to the fact that you're smarter than me, that you know more than I do, that what's going on inside my body is so complicated. And yet, here we are. When it comes to our animal's health, when it comes to biological health, when it comes to mammals, and we say, well, the dog ate grass, the dog threw up, the dog must not like grass, let's never let the dog, let's not feed the dog grass. Or, hey, um, Johnny, don't feed the dog uh, chocolate because that's not good for the dog. Let's not feed him the Doritos, but yet here's little Johnny, and he's snacking on both. Here's little Johnny, and he's going to town on the Pepsi. You would never pour the Pepsi or the Coke or whatever it is into the dog's bowl, but what do we do for our own bodies? We do it for ourselves. And we wonder why our blood pressure is going up. We wonder why now we have blood sugar problems. We wonder why we're starting to get inflammatory issues like arthritis. And we're wondering why we're now getting autoimmune conditions. We wonder why our brain health that more people right now are being diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's and we're losing our memory earlier and earlier, well, could it possibly be the way that we take care of ourselves rather than, and patients are starting to ask better questions, which I like this. Doc, why am I getting headaches? Doc, why am I getting high blood pressure? Why is it that when I get off my blood pressure medication and my blood pressure starts going up and up and up and up and up and up, And then I take it and it goes back down, but I forget to take it. It goes up higher than it was in the first place. Why is it, doc? What's causing my blood pressure? What's causing my back to hurt so bad? What's causing these problems? And there's more people who are waking up and saying, I want to be, I want to know because I want to take ownership. And I know that the way that I've been doing things is not working. And the number one thing that I hear is I wish I would have started taking care of myself like this several years ago. That's the number one thing that I hear. And yet people are waking up to it and people are challenging the status quo. They're challenging the norms and the new norms. They're challenging it. And what I like is that the people are not only asking the right questions, but then they take a common sense approach when it comes to their healthcare. That miracle of life, that miracle never left you. You get a, you get a whole new set of red blood cells every 120 days. You get a whole new stomach lining every six months. Every year, you now get a whole new set of skin cells. And you think about the body's constantly replacing itself. It's so much more like a fountain than it is a sculpture. Sculptures, things break off and they die. You have to replace those things. Those parts break like a machine and you can just simply remove and put a new one on there. Your body is not like that. Your body is like a fountain. It constantly replaces itself. New cells forming. 
you cut your leg and the brain tells your body to send clot forming agents to that site in order to heal that wound, you think about it, it's a living organism constantly. And whenever we try to go in there and interfere with this, there's going to be repercussions. So understanding that the first step to health is actually removing the interference that causes yourself to be sick in the first place and then start building health from there. You build health to outrun disease. What does that mean? Hey, you dial in on your nutrition. You make sure that your body is detoxifying, that the pathways of detoxification are open and you're not retoxing with the environmental things that we expose ourselves to. You make sure that your nervous system is functioning at its absolute best by maintaining good spinal alignment and making sure that your mindset is strong, that you have good spiritual philosophy, that you have very good habits when it comes to your routines. And you make sure that you're working out on a regular basis and you're sweating, you're breathing hard. And this is your routines and you build this habitually and you think about you build health over time and as you sweat you're detoxifying as you're breathing hard you're actually pushing out some of the junk that you've built up as your body is is functioning better with a good spinal alignment and good spinal hygiene and good nervous system function well your body is capable of overcoming things and when it comes to your nutrition it's what you put into your body becomes a part of your body what your toxins that you expose yourself to stay in you unless you're intentional about removing those and having a game plan of attack for your future. But when you put all these puzzle pieces together and now all of a sudden you do have a good approach when it comes to your health and health care and you do this systematically over time, that's how you build health, that's how you outrun disease, and that's how you take ownership over your life over time. And really that's how you live your best life. That's real health, that's max living. And hey, this is also on podcast. You can get on there and listen to the show via podcast. Hey, remember to think, but let's not think like the rest of the world. When it doesn't make sense to our approach in healthcare, maybe it's time to take more of a common sense approach when it comes to health and healthcare. This is Dr. Nick Wilson, facebook.com slash Wilson. We'll see you next time.